Okay, so my sister is um, playing music, so you probably um, hear music in the background, but anyway, this is just going to be a video on um, how to rip CS textures into Roblox, and see, this video is going to be um, how to rip CS textures into Roblox, um, I'm just going to do another video um, in a couple of days, or well, probably next week, so I to um, change the ambient colour for your surf maps and stuff, but anyway, um, Melty be up, I'll show you in one. Melted. Melted. What the hell, man? Fucking. Yeah, Melty be up. Um, his Roblox name's Melty Gentleman. He's already done a video about this, but I'm just gonna do, um, like something else for, um, because he told you to do it and then he said that you have to upload it as a decal, but he never told you to actually make it into a, um, an actual texture. So look, he did it seven months ago. Um, how to text from CSS into Roblox, and um, hopefully, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna do this video again. Basically, I was gonna do this video. I was gonna do how to whip CSS text into Roblox and um, change the emblem color, but I'm gonna do a separate video on there. Um, I also forgot to say something. Um, my friend did a video on the um, how to whip textures into CSS. I mean, how to rip textures from CSS into Roblox as well, so I'm going to put the link to his channel in the description as well. Here's his video right here, Roblox how to add textures, he did it three weeks ago. So yeah, you can go and watch his video as well if you want. Okay, so, and okay, so what you want to do, first of all, I'm going to put the links in the description. You want to download Everything Browser. Just want to type that in and click on Downloads right there. And then you just click on um, the install here. You can download the 32 bit version or the 64 bit. I've gone with the 64 bit, so yeah, you just, I've already downloaded it. So um, I'll just put the links in the description. It's supposed to be a blog if you've already seen it, if you've done it. So. And then the next thing you want to get is um, GCF Scape. I'll put the link in the description for this. Yeah, NEMS Tools, GCF Scape download. And then <coughs> you want to get the installer right here. Just click on that and you just you download it. It's easy as that, and then you want to get VTF Edit as well. So just type in that. Put the link for this. It's in the Northern Emmers Tools. VTF Edit. You just want to install that as well. So I put all the links for them in the description. So once you downloaded all of them, what you want to do? You want to open Everything Browser. So you come up, search everything. Oh crap! What's in Everything? Search everything. Desktop app. You should open that, and it will just come up with the um, Everything Browser. And you just want to type in GCF Sky. This is only if you can't find the um, app, so if you type in the... This is only if you can't find the app, so... If you type in GCF Scape, it, it would be the gcfscape.exe, it's an um, application, so you can just open that. And you can open VTF Edit as well, so just type in VTF Edit and open that as well. Now I can close the um, Everything Browser, and now I have both of G I've GCF Scape and VTF Edit open now. So once you've got all this stuff downloaded, you want to download a surf map or be up map. So what you want to do, you want to go back into your browser. You want to type in gamebanana.com. Wait, let me add it up then. My keyboard, you have to hold it down for ages just to delete. So you want to go to gamebanana.com. It's not spelled. It's like banana with one N, two Ns. I don't know. But man, my back's killing me. Wait, two seconds. Okay, so now I'm on GCF Scope, you can... You can just search for a map up here, like so if I just typed in surf in the school. LT Omnific. I don't even know what LT stands for, you know, I actually don't. And you come up there, map, surf lieutenant. I don't know what <laughs> lieutenant, I don't even know what LT is for, but anyway. Okay, so if you want to search for like, um, specific maps, you just want to click on the search bar up there, I mean the little thing up there. Click on, um, game and then you can just go to some like, counter strike source, which is right here. Section maps maps right there. Just type in surf, and they all these gonna be all like surf maps and stuff. You can see map, and you can just you can type in like maps that you want as well, like surf and school beginner or something like that. But um, I'm just gonna download surf and school rookie, so I'm just gonna type in surf and school rookie. That's the only map I can think of. So he is certain school rookie, two years old. So you just want to click on it, and then you come up here, and then you can just scroll down underneath the picture, and it's saying manual download. You just want to click on that, and you just want to download, and come up there. So you just got to wait for it to download. 
I'll be back when it's open. Okay, so it's open there. You can just close the thingy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, just minimize this. I'm just gonna drag the um, .bsp file onto the desktop, so it just makes stuff easier. And I can close this now. So what you're gonna do now, you got the map um, downloaded. Just put put it in your desktop if you want. You don't have to. But yeah, I'm just gonna open. Um, oh crap! I'm just gonna open GCF Skype. And then you just wanna drag it into GCF Skype. That's all you have to do, and it will load up all this stuff. So there's some else I forgot as well. So if I just open GCF Skype again, really quick. If when you drag your map into GCF Skype. If it's not laying you do it, look as you can see it's laying me do it but so if it's not laying you drag it into it, all you have to do is click on file, open, click on your desktop and then just click on the um, file there, double click on it and it was open for you, so yeah. That's what I forgot to um, record. Now you wanna have them both open now, Vita Fiddy and GCF Skype, so what you wanna do, you wanna just open materials and then you got all this random stuff. I'm just gonna look for some good materials. Um So yeah, you you just like look for random materials and it will come up here. Like you only like you can't open dot VMT files. See it says dot VMT like it won't let you open it, which come up with so you wanna open dot VTF files. See that's like a metal. So um props cake Cake VTF, yeah, that would just be like a template, won't it? Because it's a 3D thing. Well, detail, that's just wood. Um, some more wood here. Yeah. See, that's nice days. And that's just inverted. I don't know why we have inverted ones. Well, you got the sky, but sky box as well. So, um, I'll probably do a different video to um get the sky box thing because that's um, a bit different. You're just simply um getting textures and that. So yeah, look, there's just lo loads of random textures you can see. You've got more here. Yeah. The ones, if it just comes up with like, a little black dot, I mean, a black square, that means it's just broke or it's not working, it's just not letting you open it for some reason, so it doesn't matter. See, all of these are VMT files, I can't open any of them, they just come up with um, writing, so. So basically, once you've got the texture that you want, yeah, I'm um, just going to make this full screen. So once you've got the texture you want, you just want to go to File, Export. You're gonna make it a PNG image, and you just call it whatever you want, and save it to wherever you want. I'm just gonna call it wood. So that's saved now. I can just uh, minimize this. So now you go it. Open your file and just see if you go it. I've um, put it in the documents that it is wood. So there you go. You got the texture now as a PNG image. You wanna go to Roblox website. You wanna go to develop. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna upload it as a decal and then you're gonna make it into a texture. So what you gotta do now, you wanna go to develop, you wanna go to um, decals, which is there, you wanna stay on my creations, don't go on library or anything, just stay on my creations and go on decals. And you can see I've done loads of um, decals from Surf and the Score Race, which is a map art I remade with my friend Damien. So yeah, you just wanna go and find your image, choose file, I'm just gonna go to documents, click on wood, and you upload that. Okay, so once the um, the textures um, once the pictures uploaded as a decal, it will just come up there. So now, uh, to make it into a texture, you just want to open Roblox Studio. You want to um, go into Toolbox, and if you don't want to get Toolbox open, you just go into View and just wait um, there Toolbox. Or you can just go to Home, and you stay on the Home as well Toolbox. So once you're on Toolbox, you want to go to My Decals. Wait for it to load, and as you can see, there's the, the new one that I just made. So, I'm gonna ungroup this because it's grouped together. So, yeah, you just want to drag it onto a wall or wherever. I'm just gonna drag it onto this wall here. Is it gonna show? There we go. Okay, so now it's on this wall, but if I click on this wall, open it, it would just say decal, it's not a texture yet. So, what you want to do, you want to go onto the path in your explorer. If you don't have the explorer, you just go onto view. Click on Explore there. You want to right click on the part, go to Insert Object, and then Texture. And then you got a texture there, so you you want to click on your decal, and then see what it says Texture on the decal. You want to get that. Copy the link, Control C, or right clicking and copy. And then go over to your texture, and then click on Texture again. Paste it, Control V, or you know right click and paste, and then press Enter. And now you can delete the decal, and now you have the texture. No. As you can see, it's loads of little boxes of what we just made. You can change it here in the studs tutorial. 
So if I put this on like 20, probably 20 or something. It's gonna be like <coughs> fucking hell, man. It's gonna be like basically. And you can change the face what the texture's on. So if I put the um, the face on bottom, it's gonna be on this side now. So if I just undo that, you can just copy the um, texture and just keep pasting it into the object and changing the. Um, you have to have six textures on the object if you want it to be on every face. So I'll just change this one to back, change this one to the bottom, change this one to left, front, and just up to left and right, I mean, and the other one left. Okay, so now I have the texture on um, each side of the um, wall, as you can see. Yeah, so on every side, so yeah, that's literally the easiest thing ever. I'll say to get textures into Roblox from C, you know, Ken Strike. It could be any game, you know, it could be Gmod if you want. But yeah, like with textures, you can make maps like this. Like, this is a map I've been remaking, like I said, just. Self underscore race, which is a Ken Strike map. I remade it with my friend Damien. I'll put the um, link to his channel in the description and Mel to be off because he's the one who did the video in the first place. See that's just been the video, I've been recording for 80 minutes um, now, so I'm going to um, do another video, probably next week. I'm going to do a video on how to, like, as you can see, this like, the whole of this map looks like brownish. If I um, reset the um, thingy, the ambience, this is on black, got break lines, and this, this is what the map looks like without the um, ambience, so... As you can see it looks completely different, everything's like grey instead of brown. And like you can't just like um do it in the lighting, you have to do it in scripts. Oh, you have to do it in scripts. As you can see I've got um ambient colour script right now, some dog shadows and the skybox script. So yeah, I'm gonna do all them scripts and in a separate video in a couple of days or next week, I don't know, like I said. But anyway, um thanks for watching, go and kill yourself. Sleep. Thank you.